August 11th, 2019. So, we're gonna go meet up with uh, my buddy who we're gonna be riding with in Elgin. And we're gonna go have a bike to eat first and then we're gonna really start this trip. So Elgin's about 20 minutes away, not that far. Uh, it's nice and cool out this morning. It is 85 degrees I'm showing. So really looking forward to this. I got everything loaded on the back. And uh, looks like we got good weather. Should be a good trip. We really couldn't ask for better weather. The skies are extremely blue right now. I don't see any clouds. But it is gonna get hot. I know we have heat advisories out until next week. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind and be careful with it. So I think we're gonna add on to the original mileage that we had planned, uh, just because we're not gonna take 290 into Houston because we want to avoid Houston at all costs, really. Um, what we're gonna do is take uh, 290 over to 105. We're gonna, 105 will take you all the way to State Highway and it'll take you all the way to uh, Beaumont, Texas. So once we get into Beaumont, then uh, we'll pick up I-10 from there and go on into Louisiana. I think that's what we're gonna get accomplished today. So we made it to Elgin, gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna get back on the road. All right, we just stopped off with gas, leaving Elgin right now. Stopped off with food too, so next stop uh, will be Brenham where we're gonna hit 105, but until then we're just gonna go straight. See the world's smallest buckies. It was actually one of the first ones before they became the monstrosity that they are now. And anybody from Texas will know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about buckies. If you're not from Texas, you may not have heard of it, but usually they're giant, giant gas stations. Getting out of Brenham now. This is uh, this is 105. This is going to be our home for about the next oh, I don't know 155 miles till we get to Beaumont. This might be a long train. This is the slowest train I've ever seen. Two thousand years later. Let's see, let's do a temperature check. 10.35 in the morning, we're at 90, 90 degrees. All right, getting gas in Conroe. Got about 130 on the tank, so this is a good place to stop. Got some gas, watched a few boats come in and out, and now we're uh, we'll find some lunch, I think, and maybe a brewer or two if they got one. It is Sunday in Texas, so kind of hard to find, but we'll see what we can do. Now we're getting into cut. Interesting time in cut and shoot. We got a little bit something cool to drink. We were gonna get something to eat, however, they didn't have any food. So uh, now we're gonna head on to Beaumont. Probably stop at Beaumont for some food. Uh, it's about one o'clock right now, and uh, temperature just in the hundred degrees. So get a little toasty. It doesn't feel too bad with the best jacket on. So we just stayed at a place called The West here in Beaumont, and now we're ready to get there. So we're gonna hop on I-10 
and I-10 is going to get us there. GPS has us right at an hour, hour and one minute actually. Uh, we'll be at our destination in Lake Charles at the hotel, and uh, we'll call it a day once we get there.